Patrick, we had you on to talk markets going forward. It is jobs day. The monthly payroll numbers are out. This changes everything as well. Yeah. As an investor, how do you process the news? And as an investor, does this change your investing thesis, your investing strategy at all? So when I woke up this morning, I did what all market participants probably did, is we looked at different scenarios, adjusted our probabilities, and uh, first and foremost, I suppose, is the election odds. Has this moved the dial at all on the election? If you look at the betting odds, Joe Biden's gone from a 61% to a, a 66% chance to be elected the next president. And uh, our view, um, hot take on that one, is it's not going to matter for markets too much who the next president is. Both presidents are going to run a big fiscal deficit. Biden will do it on spending. Trump will do it with a bit of tax cuts and some fiscal or uh, infrastructure spending. So that's not changed our views. Um, the real problem for me is uh, the contested scenario and uh, do the probabilities of that change, where if uh, Biden pulls to a clear lead because Trump can't campaign, does the Trump uh, White House pivot towards more creating scenarios where they can contest the election, things like that. And I think mm -hmm. that's the uncertainty that's uh, at risk for markets more than who's the next president, actually. Well, uh, oddly, Patrick, our RBI today, random and interesting, was going to be on the contested election scenario because we only have one modern day example. And that was, of course, in 2000. And Data Trek research came out and noted that from the election in 2000 to the court's decision to award the presidency to Bush in 2000 was from November 7th to de December 13th. And the S&P 500 fell just about five and a half percent. We saw gold rally. If we have a contested election, if this reduces the president's chances of being able to get out there and campaign, he's already down in most of the polls. But let's say there's that shy Trump voter, if you will. If there is a contested election scenario, I would imagine it sounds like you would view that, like 2000, as being negative for equities in the near term. Yeah, that's a definite negative. That probably puts a hold on uh, whoever the next president's stimulus plans. Uh, the, the economy needs that. It needs a boost right now to get back to full employment, get rid of the output gap, get the economy functioning again. And when there's a question mark about very, very different platforms, um, definitely there'll be a risk premium on equities. Uh, safe havens will probably be bid up as well. And there's also scenarios if things go a negative way. Um, most likely you get uh, Trump recovering. That's just what happens statistically. But if it does go negative, there's still scenarios where the GOP have another candidate on the ballot and there's been millions of people who've already voted by mail. And does that create an issue for a contested election? So there, there's lots of scenarios for me there. And the risks are the next president for me in terms of markets. Um, the contested scenario is the real risk in terms of markets for me. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.